Hello and welcome to the show. We are back on F1 2017, continuing the career mode after a rather damp and dreary Austrian Grand Prix. We are going to be heading to Great Britain, where there's probably going to be a damp and dreary British Grand Prix, although hopefully the rain might actually make a bigger impact on everything. Uh, as far as parts go, we had the rear wing I tried to get last time failed. That's going to be reworked, so we should have a rear wing upgrade by Britain. The bigger concern is our motor generator unit. The kinetic part is pretty buggy. It is all gone. It's just useless. So we're going to have to get a new one of those put on. Uh, we're going to run practice with an old uh, internal combustion engine. We're going to have to run practice with the current heat one. Uh, energy store is still good. Turbocharger is okay. We're going to need new control electronics. We're burning through our parts, but I don't really have much choice. I know we're going to take penalties later on, uh, but for now, we're going to keep going. I'm, th there will be a time where I have to get a new part, and when I start getting grid penalties, I'll just get all of them at once. So there's going to be a future Grand Prix. I might be starting at the back of the grid. For now, we are still good to continue. Likewise, our gearbox is at uh, 50 something percent, 55 percent, but it shouldn't start losing gears until a lot higher percentage, so we should be good to go with this. Off to Great Britain we go then, and hopefully things will run smoothly. That's a lot to ask, but there we go. Well, so far, after the first couple of practice sessions, we are doing relatively well with the Renault, both me and Hulkenberg faster than Massa's Williams. The Force India is admittedly on different tyres. Uh, it's looking like, yeah, we're going to be fighting around the lower parts of the top ten. Doesn't look like we have pace to challenge the Red Bulls. Verstappen running the same tyres is over a second faster. Perhaps not too surprised by all of that, but yeah. Uh, seventh place and then so on might be in the offering when it comes to qualifying. Well, there was supposed to be the threat of raid when it came to qualifying here, although that doesn't really look like the case so <laughs> far. Very, very clear skies, bright sunshine. For now, we should be good. Certainly Q1 might cloud over later on. Again, it might rain later on in this session, I don't know, but for now, it's looking uh, pretty perfect conditions for the uh, Renault. Well, I'm fairly happy with my lap time, although Perez has gone very, very quick. Where's Perez so fast? Uh, well, first final sector. Okay, Force India's looking relatively rapid here at uh, Silverstone ahead of Grosjean. Uh, uh, yeah, Ocon uh, has gone up the uh, table as well. That should be more than enough. I would expect a second quicker than Kvyat. Should be more than enough to see me through. Hulkenberg needs to get a move on. Come on, Hulkenberg. We need to get both Renault scoring some points. Please tell me he was on a lap. Please tell me he hasn't gone out immediately from all of this. Oh, bloody hell, Hulkenberg. <laughs> Apparently not his day. Not his day whatsoever. Yeah, we're up in ninth. We are through to the next round, and it has started to get cloudy. Maybe we will see this rain before the end. Okay, well, rain is... Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for that. As I kind of feared, it is looking like rain is going to be on its way here with qualifying. It might not hit before the end of Q2. It might be a little bit later. It certainly is going to... Oh, wow. 45 minutes down the line is going to get very wet, but that might be after the end of qualifying. So, <laughs> 90 minutes is going to really piss it off. Do we reckon we can go any faster? than we have done there. Oh, we were very slow in the final sector. I did, I cocked up coming into the last chicane. I was a little early on the brakes, I think, and that's where I've lost some time. Perez is absolutely flying here at the moment. <laughs> what is going on with the Force Indias? They have got some real speed here. They've got some real speed here. I, mean, I was uh, similar first sector, better second, but crappy final sector. I feel like I could probably be up there fighting with them. Is it actually raining yet? No, doesn't look like it. I might have to go again, just to try and make sure we get through. Yeah, we've still got tyre sets, so I might as well bolt on a new set, and we will go again. It looks like we might be a little bit too late. The rain is starting to fall. Now, I might be able to get a lap in before it really gets the circuit wet, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure I had a very good start to this 
lap particularly. Uh, are we go what are we doing? I need to get around some corners before I can try and look at sector. Ah, we're miles off. Yeah, by the time there's no point wasting any more um, damage, risking any more damage to the engine. That's not going to improve. We're going to be through, so I'll take it. So the rain continuing to fall here. By the looks of it, it's going to stay damp rather than we're not quite going to get to the real heavy rain by the end of this session. But it's probably only going to get wetter, so we will go out and get started. I fear I might be in trouble here. This car, again, I'm setting up run low downforce. It's supposed to be dry for the race itself, so I am running a bit lower downforce than would perhaps be ideal for these conditions here. I might struggle to qualify higher than 10th, but you never know. <laughs> never know. Maybe the rain will hinder the apparent Force India massive speed they have around here. So, fingers crossed, it is now quite on the slippery side compared to what I have been used to. Yeah, it's uh, not a huge amount of grip out here, but it's only going to get worse, so let's try and get some laps in early, really. So, rather interestingly so far, I was the only car that went out really early on. I'm on my second flying lap at the moment, and only now have the other cars come out. I don't know if they're expecting it to get drier later on, but if this rain continues to fall, if this rain gets heavier, <laughs> I might find myself surprisingly high up the grid because, well, no one's set lap times in the same condition as me. Although, at the moment, while it is very wet out here, it's not much worse than when I started. So I think they might be okay to uh, still set lap times. Thank you, Jeff. If we can not boost things up around the final quarter, 46.5 by me. Uh, we got to keep going and see what we might be able to do and see what the weather conditions do, really, at the moment. Oh, my dream of a pole position is going to be no more. <laughs> it's not got wet enough to uh, hinder the likes of the uh, Red Bulls. We are basically out of fuel. Bugger, mass has gone a little bit quicker as well. Bottas is going even faster. Yeah, it was a good idea. I, I threw everything I had at it uh, by going early on in the session, uh, but it looks like we are going to... It has now got very, very wet indeed. Out here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the other cars are still able to find enough lap speed. I might end up being in 10th. I would hope I could beat the Force Indias. It wasn't really... Well, I say it wasn't perfect laps. I feel like I could have done perhaps a little bit better. If Mass is ahead of me, that's less than ideal. So far, our fastest yeah. lap is a I think I have too little downforce for the rain. I think I'm running too little downforce for these conditions. And that is making life difficult for my, uh, for my Renault. We're going to be at the back. Damn it. I can't do anything now. I've run out of time. So, I said we're going to be back. We're going to be starting from 10th, and that is not too bad a position on the grid. When, you know, expectation-wise, 7th is as high as I was ever likely to get. I'm only 4 tenths of a second down on the Force Indias, so we are very much there or thereabouts. We're around the points. Hopefully we can have a dry race, I think I'm wanting. Uh, it's supposed to be, but then you never really quite know when it comes to Silverstone. Well, it uh, looks like we are going to be having a dry race. It is apparently supposed to be a little bit cloudy, but that's about it for the duration. Tenth is perhaps one of the worst places to be starting in many ways. I can't have tyre choice, so we are having to go with the super soft. I'm hoping Hulkenberg can make something work from further back. It would be nice to get another double points score for the, the Renaults. Thank you, Jeff. I have figured out how race starts work. Let's try and not bin everything into the first corner. That would be helpful here as we get off the grid. Not as well as the cars around us. It is a poor start from the Renault. Give space to the Haas on the inside, although we might be able to make something work around here if everyone's going to stack up. I will have a go down the inside, trying to make sure that we give uh, everyone space around here. It's a little bit busy. Ah. Let's focus now for the rest of the race. 
Nice. Well, thank you. Whoa, thank you, whatever that was. Jeff, it's a little bit hectic. We've kind of... Uh, <laughs> we had a good run, then we had a bad run, and now we've got real trouble from a Hass. Uh, who dare be the uh, latest of the breakers? Oh, we've got that one saved. Oh, that was not a fun run through that corner. The uh, Hass was not quite sure where he was going to go. We were three, <laughs> three wide on the opening lap. Not ideal situation, but there we have it. Uh, also not sure how much grip we're going to have, because while we are heavy with fuel, of course, we are already running a shorter race, so it's not like we've got 50-odd laps of fuel on the car. And we have been flat out through these corners in qualifying and so on. Looks like we can continue to be very fast. Shall we go a little bit aggressive with the fuel mixture? Don't quite know why it's flashing over there. That's a small concern, but never mind. <laughs> we'll go we'll go rich for a little bit. We'll see if we can uh, attack and get Massa before it stops. It would be ideal. Uh, it did look like a Force India managed to leapfrog a Red Bull. There was a Red Bull in the middle of the pack. I don't really know. I don't think the Force Indias can really fend off from those Red Bulls around here. We're Not this... Thanks, Jeff. That's uh, helpful. I don't know how long these tyres are expected to last. That seems like it's not particularly long Grand Prix, actually, around here, come to think of it. But there we go. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, the, the Force Indias might be the only cars that can take the fight to the Red Bulls. However, the Red Bull did look very good around the corners. I'm assuming that's where it's making its lap time up, not, uh, <laughs> not down the straight. Uh, these tyres are not in great nick, but that would just be from the uh, qualifying session. Can we close and do anything about... I don't want to have another Grand Prix where we're stuck looking at the back of a Willy... I say looking at the back of a Willy's Austria, we never really saw it. Okay, I'm not going to put it in <laughs> mix anyway. So that's fine by, uh, fine by me. Yeah, my gearbox wear I don't think is too bad at the moment. Gearbox is 67%. So hopefully we're not going to see any problems show up in uh, this race. Oh, I'm so fast. That's where I'm making all of my lap time. There is where I am brave compared to the uh, AI cars. We've got a lot of speed, but then I don't have the straight line of that Williams. And I have got to be a little bit mindful of my fuel, of course. I gave the car a bit more fuel, so I could run in slightly higher mixture. I quite know what... I think that might have been caused by me hitting the grass on the inside a little bit, so... Uh, well, Alonso's had a uh, typical McLaren time of it. I'm going to put myself back into a, a standard fuel mixture. We seem to have... Okay, whoa, big lockout. Something didn't seem right through there. We seem suddenly very, very slow compared to the vehicles around us. Not sure if that was something having issues or whether Massa was quick because we've still got that uh, within a second, thankfully. We've got that Hass right behind us. I seem to be in a little bit of bother. Looks like I'm going to be doing more defending rather than attacking at this, uh, at this rate. Okay, Massa's diving into the pits relatively early. I've had a huge lockup. The Red Bull is continued to be frustrated by the Force Indias, I think. They're having a big old fight. Thank you, Jeff. I guess we're coming in next time around. Massa might actually be able to leapfrog the likes of the Force Indias and the Red Bulls if they continue to uh, fight in the way that they are. I might uh, bin my car at the rate I'm going with these uh, brake lockups. Where the hell am I going there? That's not what I wanted to be doing. We're going to be stuck with a Hass, and he's going to have DRS, and I'm not going to be able to do too much down here. I don't think we're going to have to try and go very, very defensive. This is costing all of us time now and backing us up into the big old train. I carry too much speed into there. We're in trouble at the moment. Still the Hass... Oh, the Hass changed his mind. <laughs> Couldn't quite do it. Oh, damn it, any chance of us catching the Force Indias, we're going to have to do it the hard way with the uh, soft tyres. All right. Hit stop time is coming up here for the uh, Renault as we're going to try and get this thing slowed down enough for that one. <laughs> oh, I hate trying to get the thing slowed for the pit stop. It looks like Hulkenberg has actually got a pretty good time of things so far, which is nice to see. Uh, we are... It will be a fair way. We might actually compromise the Red Bull. No, we're going to... Oh, we're going to screw over the Force India. I'm okay with that. 
I'm fine with that. <laughs> that helps me out in the long run, I guess. Uh, he's going to release the uh, Red Bull, of course. However, Force India is who we're battling with. Perez, in this case, are who we're battling for the constructors and who I'm battling with in the Drivers' Championship. So, me coming out behind Perez is not too bad. But there we go. Uh, where is Massa going to be? Massa is going to be well ahead of... Well, I'll say well ahead of us. Yeah, he's ahead of us. Probably made up a little bit of time. I thought, feared he might have gone... Uh, might have made up more time from his uh, attempt at an undercut. I guess he only had... I know, Jeff. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with the undercut, while... Okay, it's uh, on the soft tyres as opposed to the super soft. We were running quite old super softs because we got the ones from qualifying, and mine were especially old because I tend to do more than one flying lap on them. Either way, yeah, Massa is ahead of us, and we might have a fair bit of work to do. It's also going to be curious to see where we end up with the cars behind me when they come for their pit stops. So where are we going to filter out in all of this? So we do have, again, the advantage of the undercut on our side. It looks like we are going to keep ahead of a bunch... Oh, we've actually leapfrogged and Force India. We've leapfrogged Ocon. I suspect he got caught up having to wait... Jeff, will you just... I'm, I'm talking to audience. God damn it. Uh, Ocon probably got caught up with other cars in the pit lane, so had to wait to be released or something to that effect. Worked out for me. We've made a place. The issue is I think we're going to faster force India behind us, so it's going to be defend session, and I will need to go back into standard fuel mix for a little while. Uh, because I want to save some fuel for the end if we have to try and really fend off and I've done a real big stupid through there. That was uh, not clever by me. <laughs> okay, we have to fend off now. Is he going to be brave enough? Oh, he is going to be brave enough. Oh, jeez. That's, well, that's kind of me and a little bit of bother. I was really hoping he was going to back out of that one. We've lost that. Ah. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Stupid, stupid, stupid by me not being brave enough on this set of tyres. We've got to go real aggressive now to try and get back past Ocon. Not so aggressive that we throw the car off the road, or so aggressive that we run out of fuel. Look at the brakes, not going to help matters. It's falling apart a little bit. Do with some technical malfunctions from the Force Indias. That would help me considerably. Oh, speaking of leapfrogging in the pit lane, Magnussen has done a very, very good job with the Haas and has now got ahead of both of us. Now, I'm relatively close at this particular juncture, uh, but the Force India is so much faster in a straight line. Yeah, this circuit I don't think is a uh, particularly fun one for the Renault. Now, he can't seem to do too much about Magnussen at the moment. Magnussen could help me out here. Uh, we might all end up in bother ourselves. Oh, not this again. He's going to be way too quick. I'm going to burn through all of my fuel if I'm not careful doing, <laughs> doing this one. Now, don't be a moron and lift through here. Oh, okay, that's... Mm, yeah, I've still not got that corner down. <laughs> I mean, we survive. We get out the other side in one piece. So this is where I've got the speed on these guys. You know what? You put your way past through Maggots and Beckett's. I'm going to put my way past Maggots and Beckett's this time. It's worked. We're up a place. It was a little bit on the sketchy side. We're up into 11th, chasing down that Hass for the last point and trying to fend off from Ocon for the last one. This is going to go down to the wire, I think. Some information on Ocon. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Well, that's good news. Apparently, the F1 gods have decided to... Uh, intervene and help me out by breaking Ocon's car. I think could have done with breaking Magnussen's as well, but I guess I'm going to have to do some of the work myself. I've kind of got myself in that really awkward position currently where I am very evenly matched with the cars around me. I can't really make much time on the Haas ahead. Uh, with Ocon having issues and now dropping back, that at least relieves a little bit of the pressure until Stroll potentially gets here. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm kind of a little bit stuck almost in uh, in no man's land. We've got to hope that... I see, the problem is I can make up so much time here, but that's the one quarter where I am ma massive, massively quick. 
Oh, are we within? Yeah, the DRS activation zone. Annoyingly, oh, go, go, go away, <laughs> go away, Jeff. But yeah, the, the DRS activation point is before that corner, although we are considerably closer now. Magnuson might be having some fuel-related issues, possibly. Okay, well, this is good news. This is actually very good news. We're a lot closer than I have been the last couple of laps. We're also up into tenth. So, okay, maybe someone had to pit who. Uh, Crap, the <laughs> damn. Got so much to think about, and I got to cocked it up through the first quarter because I was busy trying to figure out what Jeff was saying. I'm going to have to shut Jeff up in a minute. Um, but yeah, we are up into 10th, so somebody up ahead is either pitted or I miscount. Oh, of course, Oppel, we're ahead of Oppel, so that's why we're 10th, despite Magnuson being ahead of us. Okay, figured it out, figured it out. We've got three more laps. I will go maximum attack for the last couple of laps to try and get a ninth place. I want some more. I kind of need some more points, especially with uh, Massa and Perez having better races than me. I think Silverstone was always likely to be a tough race for Renault. The lack of straight line speed here is not great, but we're doing okay for now. This might be one of the best chances we have had, so fuel mixture on to Rich. We've got DRS. We've got a good run down here. Up the inside of Magnuson. Keep it neat and tidy. I will take that position. Thank you very much. I could do with seeing some uh, technical issues with the cars up ahead. Because we're not going to make any more positions, unfortunately, with on track pace at this moment in time. So whether we can fend off from that. Uh, that has for the remainder of the race. I think we might be okay because he has been struggling a little bit for pace. Uh, so yeah, we've got a couple of laps to uh, see what we can do. have still got rich fuel mode as an option if needed, which we might have to go certainly down here, get ready for the uh, Hass's straight line speed. Is he going to be close enough? I will. I know. Oops. I know, Jeff. I will. I've got to just defend from Magnuson through or down the straights. As he was looking for a way past. He's not going to find it there. We might be able, if we can get through Maggots and Beckett's, I might be okay. Might be able to uh, stay far enough ahead. Looks like we're going to do a repeat performance once more down, <laughs> down this straight. But I think Magnuson might be a little bit too far back now to really try anything. Yeah, we've kind of got ourselves to the point where I am probably slower than him through 90% of the lap, but I'm... Jeff, every single time today, you <laughs> are determined to talk over me. Either way, um, yeah, the Haas is quicker than me through a lot of this circuit, but one quarter I am faster than him at. And if I can stay being quicker than him here, uh, much quicker than him here, I can continue to make good enough lap time, I think, to stay ahead. Well, this is it, the last time we <laughs> head around this Silverstone circuit. My lack of straight line speed still causing us a little bit in the way of issues, but Magnussen not close enough at the first big overtaking opportunity. Now, I've got to hold the inside here, make sure, make it difficult, make it as tough as I can for that has to find a way past. It's been a much more enjoyable race this one than Austria, where we kind of toodled around on our own for most of the time. I'm still... <laughs> Should I get the turning point for that corner is always the uh, fun at times. I've got to make sure we've got that on standard. I don't want to run out of fuel, not at this stage. I put it on Rich just to fend down that straight. We are playing it a little bit close with the fuel mixture. It wasn't as good that time through Magas and Vegas because I'm busy turning the fuel down. Uh, but we have, I think, managed to get away with all of that as we head up towards the uh, last few corners. Magnuson is too far back. There is going to be nothing that the Haas is able to do here. An exciting race. Crazy, crazy first lap, that one. I could have made up two or three places, could easily have lost my front wing or ended up out in those <laughs> opening laps. We got points. We got points. The Renault seemed to struggle around here. I don't know if I had broken engine wear was causing us issues. I just 
wouldn't have thought it would have been, but it is possible. Um, hey, Raikkonen won. I mean, if I can't win a race, always happy to uh, to see Raikkonen taking a victory. No breakdowns aside from Alonso. At the end of the day, getting points, keeping keeping the points tally ticking along. I wouldn't say nicely, but not too badly. Um, yeah, only Perez and Massa beat me of the cars that you would think I could compete with. But looking at the lap times that, that Force India was capable of, I can't run that. I don't. In fact, that that lap time was not that far down on the Red Bulls. So the Force India has made some big improvements here, which is quite scary. Uh, Williams were perhaps a little bit faster. The Stroll got up into 11th. Hulkenberg made it to 12th, but uh, couldn't really make any further forward. He did have better pace in the race than he did in qualifying. So, yeah, we have got... We have got some more points. We have got some more points, and I think we will stay ahead of Massa. We do stay ahead of Massa. We stay ahead of Perez. We stay ahead of Ocon. Uh, we have fallen a little bit further behind for Stappen, but we're not expecting to be beating the Red Bulls, so that would more be through his... Uh, lack of reliability more than uh, more than anything. Raikkonen's not that far down on Hamilton, which is uh, interesting to see. The trouble bit for us is going to be constructors. We are falling further behind Force India. We're falling further behind Williams. Now, we are well clear of Hassan Toro Rosso. Uh, we're not going to uh, be troubled by them, but I can't get Hulkenberg to score some points to uh, try and aid me in getting the Renault team up into a fifth or fourth place was a yeah it was a more enjoyable race than we had at Austria not the same result perhaps but it was a more enjoyable race we fought with a Haas we fought with Force India for a lot of it just lacked pace in the end lacked pace around this uh, around this Silverstone circuit so there we go that is going to be it for this video thank you very much for watching and until next time uh, goodbye